sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to do a chicken pot pie on the grill. All right, we're doing indirect heating, charcoal on one side. And here we got some celery. We got an onion here. We got some pre-cooked carrots, peas, and corn. We got some pre-cooked potatoes. And uh, here we got some pie dough, this pre-made pie dough. And here we got some heavy cream. We got some good uh, cooking oil there. We got uh, salt, pepper, and garlic blend. Here we got some uh, chicken broth or chicken stock. And here we got some flour. All right, now this is real easy to do. And of course, uh, you want to start out with some good chicken here. I mean, we've got about four or five pounds of uh, chicken breast and chicken thighs. And uh, you can use uh, either dark or white meat with this pie or a blend of both. We like doing both here. Now, first thing here, we're going to sear this chicken up a couple minutes each side. Of course, you know all about that. We're going to cook this chicken indirect here once we get it seared up. Now, if you've never had chicken pot pie before, you got to check this out. This is real ribs sticking good eating, especially on a cold winter day. Man, it smells good. Alright, that chicken is pretty much seared. And again, we're going to move it opposite the hot coals. And we'll cook it, oh, maybe uh, about 45, 50 minutes uh, in about a 375, 400 degree grill. Now, of course, you could have pre-cooked this chicken before and, uh, and had all the meat chopped up. But uh, we're just going to do it this way. Makes for some good eating. All right, again, about 375, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Through the miracle of time, this chicken is done. So we're gonna pull it off the grill, and then we'll let it rest for a bit just to cool down so we can remove the meat from the bones. Here's the dog thinks it's uh, time to eat already, but he's just gonna have to wait, just like the rest of us. Right. Now let's work on the filling here. Now we're going to use about a 12 inch black iron pan here to make our filling. And uh, we're getting that heated up on the, on the coals there. Now first thing here we're going to chop up some fresh celery here. We're going to about quarter cup, maybe a third a cup of fresh celery. And this will this will add a nice fresh taste to this pie. Now we call this a country uh, chicken pot pie because not only does it have a lot of good grilled chicken in there, but it's got onion, it's got celery, it's got peas, corn, carrots, and fresh potatoes. Man, now that's country. Now here, if we're gonna make a thickening sauce and uh, we wanna start out with a roux. And to do that, we're gonna take about six tablespoons of sweet butter. We're gonna melt it down into this uh, hot uh, frying pan here. Add a little bit of that uh, good oil there. Get that butter melted down. Now to make the roux, we're going to add about uh, six tablespoons of flour. A 
you just want to dust it into this uh, hot butter and oil. Now this recipe goes back at least a hundred years. This is your basic country chicken pot pie. Now we got that uh, roux going there and this is when I act, like to add a little bit of that celery and that onion. It's about a whole small onion there. You want to be careful, you don't want to burn the flour in this roux. Now we're going to add about one cup of heavy cream. You just stir it on in, give it a good mix. And then we want to add about two cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. You just keep stirring away here, you don't want to burn. It's going to start thickening up real good here. All right, let's pull it off the hot coals. clear off this table. Now here I'm going to add about a tablespoon of a garlic, pepper, salt blend. And you can adjust the amount here. This uh, works real good. You can see it's starting to thicken up. And this is where I'm going to add about four or five uh, pre-cooked cut up potatoes and about a cup of uh, corn, peas, and carrots. And that's already been pre-cooked as well. All right. Now the chicken is cooled down, so uh, we're gonna pull the meat off the bones here. You want to save the chicken skins. There's a good snack in here while we're waiting for this uh, chicken pot pie here. All right, nothing like crispy chicken skins. In fact, we want to take one of them uh, chicken skins here and uh, add it to the pie. We want a little bit of that country flavor. All right, now let's uh, cut up the rest of this chicken. We're using about four pounds of chicken here, maybe a little bit more. And, uh, we like to cut them in large chunks, pieces here. And, and we got, of course, we got both uh, chicken thighs and chicken breast. Adds plenty of flavor to this pie. Man, look at that. Get nice and thick. All right, let's put the cover on the grill and we'll let this uh, simmer here for a few minutes. Get it nice and thick. All right, a few more minutes have gone by. Take a look at that. You smell that? It smells good. 
time to make up this pie. Now, since uh, Martha or even Betty are not down at the pit today, we're just gonna have to use this pre-made dough. This works real good. Barbecue pit boys would rather be uh, eat than making pie dough, if you know what I mean. So now this uh, pie dough is going in a uh, Pyrex or a oven safe uh, glass pie dish here. And that works best for making a real nice crust. This is about a nine inch pie. Now let's get this filling in there. I'm getting hungry. Well, next we want to put the topping on this pie here. Man, there's almost not enough room for this uh, filling here, is there? Now, if you had the time, I guess you could flute the edges there, but, uh, but since we don't have time, I'll just lay it over there and work just fine. Now let's get this pie on the grill. Now we're going to be cooking it ops to hot coals and we want a temperature of about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And this will take about a half hour maybe a little bit more depends uh, how hot those coals are going. We just want to brown up the dough. Now we're about 20 minutes into this and this is where I like to spin the pie around about 180 degrees so we can get some uh, even heating going on. Man, it's looking good already. And then to help brown the, uh, that dough there, we want to add a little bit of butter. Just melt on just a little bit, get nice and brown. About another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Now, through the miracle of time, this country chicken pot pie is done. It's time to take this pie off the fire here because we want this pie to rest here for oh, about 20, 25 minutes. This is so the dough can firm up. Time to plate it up. Look at that crust. It's done perfect. Now, of course, you could uh, do this on your stove top or oven, but it just won't be a country chicken pot pie. You'll be missing all that good grilling flavor. Heck, here come the neighbors. You gotta try some of these. Next time you're looking for a barbecue recipe, check out barbecuepitboys.com.